Hey, you having a hard time figuring out which exchange is the best exchange to start your crypto investment? Have no fear. I got you. I'm going to give you the top four, in my opinion, best crypto exchange on the centralized side. Hey, keep it locked. Let's get it. Hey, you know who it is, man. It's your boy, Wall Street Shooter, and I'm checking in for the gang. And I got a banger for you guys. I'm here to help you out. I'm going to give you my top four centralized exchanges that I like to use. And I might throw in an extra one, but you got to keep it locked. Hey, before we get into it, man, make sure you drop a like. Go ahead and comment and subscribe, share. And um, yeah, we can go ahead and get into the video, man. Let's go. And I'm froze, man. I don't know why my camera be freezing up, but I'm going to go ahead and fix that. And I'm going to take myself off there looking crazy. Anyways, man, so let's get into the top four exchanges. First thing first, man, for any of my newbies out there who are not familiar on how many exchanges that is out there or let alone how many cryptocurrencies are out there coinmarketcap.com screenshot that i'm gonna highlight it coinmarketcap.com if you're not using it go ahead and add it to your bookmarks right now if you are using it then you already know what's about to happen first things first if you look up here in this top header cryptos 21,454 different crypto projects crazy right remember when it was like super low like back like in the thousands back in 2014 now we're up to 21,000 cryptos and saints crazy but y'all not here to learn about all the cryptocurrencies you're here to learn about the exchanges well right next to it you have the exchanges and there's 520 exchanges and that's a mixture between CEXs, which are centralized exchanges, DeFi exchanges and so on. But we're going to talk about CEXs in this video. We're going to do the DeFi on another one. Keep it locked. So first thing first, man, before you even start investing, man, you want to make sure you're picking quality exchanges, right? Quality. Usually what you want to look for is when you click on here, you can see. It's broken down into the top, what is this, top 100 on the first page, right? So you got Binance. Everybody knows Binance. They're like the OG of exchanges, man. The most trusted, the most used exchange. As you can see, in a 24-hour value, they're moving about $7 billion, right? That's important. You always want to make sure your exchanges is moving money. They have money. They got liquidation because when you need to take profits, you don't want no hiccups. So definitely Binance is on my list for show. Coinbase exchange, US base. Oh, let me take a step back. Binance, right? So there's a Binance and there's a Binance US, right? So obviously if you're in the US, you'll be using Binance US. You can't, <clears throat> you can't use the regular Binance. So that's the difference, right? It's still on the top 10 list, as you see here, but Binance is definitely one of the ones, right? Coinbase is a U.S.-based uh, company uh, that allows you to exchange, <laughs> to buy, sell, and hold, or even stake cryptocurrencies. They're number two on the list, and they got liquidity as well, too. Over a, over a half a billion, half a billion, right? It's important again you want to make sure the cryptocurrency has liquidation they're on my list the next one ftx now there's two types of ftx is ftx and ftx yes us and obviously you and the, us in north america would be able to will only be able to use ftx us but they're still on my top list of four ftx they move in about five four uh 540 uh million dollars far as liquid goes per uh <laughs> per per day 24 hours so they're definitely worth as well now number four on here is Kraken. i'm not a big fan of cracking in the sense of their ux i'm not a fan of their ux and their user experience and etc but if you want to just go straight through the line and go one through four it wouldn't be a bad belt now my top my number four though on the other hand is kucoin now i absolutely love kucoin they're china based i know i know uh for those who don't like dealing with china but they're china based company but they i mean you can spot trade and we're going to get into a uh, breakdown you can spot trade Future trade, margin trade, buy crypto, sell crypto, earn crypto, learn, lend crypto. Yo, you can do it all on KuCoin. The UI UX is very good. Um, 
And then they're moving about six hundred and seventy three million dollars in a 24 hour period. Again, very important when you're talking about liquidity and baby to cash out, et cetera, et cetera. Um, Here's that FTX US. They're ranked number 10 on the list. Uh, So, yeah, those are my top four. But I'm going to kind of take you all and walk you all through um, a little bit difference between them. Let's break down in Binance again. Got the when you come to coin market coin market cap, you can get a little more information about Binance. They move about 76 billion daily total value on Binance Exchange since August of 2002, uh, 22, and over 90 million customers worldwide. That's very important, man. You want to make sure that there's a user base, right? You want to make sure people are actually using the exchange. 90 million customers worldwide. I mean, you can't beat that, and that's the bin- regular Binance. We're not even talking about Binance US, right? So. That's very important. As you can see, some of the cryptocurrencies that they support here, pretty much Binance get you get you right far as the cryptocurrency, man. They got pretty much everything, uh, but definitely want to check them out, especially if you're in the U.S. You want to look and make sure that Binance USA tokens, uh, what's what tokens are on Binance USA before you create the account. It's very, very important. We come back here with that Coinbase again. Coinbase, like I said, is a U.S. based crypto trading and investment platform. They actually went IPO uh, last year. So they also a a a publicly traded company. So you can buy shares of Coinbase as well, too. They got big partnerships with the NBA, the official NBA uh, crypto exchange as well. Uh, So that's pretty, pretty I guess that's pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? That's good cosign backing when you're getting them big institutional money or big backing from big corporations. So that's very, that's very important too. Coinbase has also changed over, not changed over. They also added Coinbase one, which is a transaction free uh, subscription pay. And then they also have a pro version as well too. We're going to take a look um, on Coinbase as well. Uh, we're going to check them out. But Coinbase, I started off on Coinbase back in 2015. There was my first exchange or 2016, excuse me. It was my first exchange where I was buying Ethereum, XRP, um, Litecoin, etc. So I trust Coinbase. I think it's a good, a good platform. And when I say trust, understand that I technically don't trust no exchanges because they get hacked just to keep it transparent in a buck. I buy cryptocurrencies off these exchanges and I move them over into my nano ledger X. So X or S in other videos where I talked about security and protecting your bags that you already know how I get down. I take my crypto off the exchanges and I put them into my ledger. If you want more tips on how to protect your cryptocurrency, the link in the bio to my ebook pretty much breaks down the top four exchanges that I use. Also, at also how I secure my cryptocurrency on cold and hot wallets as well, too. All right, moving on. So Coinbase is ranked number two. And none of these are, I'm not ranking none of these in like number one or number two. Or number three. I personally use these four plus the one I'm going to give you. And I use them for different things as well. Because sometimes some exchanges may not have that certain cryptocurrency on it. So I need to go to another exchange and buy it. At the end of the day, I'm moving it all in one place anyway. So that's why I want to give you four different areas, because sometimes some of these cryptocurrencies may not be on the platform. So, and you, if you really want to get to that cryptocurrency, then you definitely need multiple multiple applications. Right. At one point, I just talk about sheep. Uh, she was only on crypto.com and then it started getting picked up by Binance last year. Coinbase. Then Robin Hood, et cetera, et cetera, right? All right, so the next one, we're just gonna go right down the line to FTX. FTX has a large back, super large backing of centralized and, and, and institutional money from BlackRock, uh, Sequoia Capital, uh, OTPP, and Automide Research. They're also from the United States as well, too. If you wanna bring it on there, kinda, well, Bahamas base. I guess still territory of the United States, whatever the case may be. Uh, yeah, so you can kind of see more information. Like I said, they're moving over half a billion uh, in volume per day. We, we'll take a look at their sites and everything. I already have accounts. Unfortunately, I wish I can build an account in front of y'all, but I already have accounts to most of these. 
Um, but yeah, you can see they're moving. So on FTX, the regular version, where we don't have access, meaning North America, they had XRP, Ethereum, their own native token, Avalanche, Bitcoin, et cetera, et cetera. On the FTX US, uh, XRP is not listed on there. If you don't know, XRP is going through a whole thing with the SEC. A lot of exchanges have removed uh, XRP um, from their exchange list due to this SEC investigation. There are a few exchanges that still allow you to buy XRP in the United States. And we're going to talk about both of those. Okay. So yeah, that's FTX. FTX be doing some really big things as well too. They got some partnerships with Formula One as far as like some race cars. I believe with Aston Martin, they just bought the namesake right to, um, to, uh, Miami, the Miami heat arena. It's now the FTX, uh, arena. Uh, so they're doing some, some big things as well too. And for KuCoin, let's click on KuCoin. Actually, you know what? I'm going to give you two more. I'm feeling, I'm feeling spicy today. I'm going to give y'all two more on top of the one free one I was going to give you. I'm going to give you another free one that I think you guys are going to like. So I'm giving you a little bonus, man. So if you, if you made it this far, you're going to catch another, uh, catch a freebie, right? So KuCoin, again, they're overseas base. You definitely need to, uh, they do your, oh, and all these all these exchanges are know your customers or KYC, meaning you have to provide driver's license information, uh, secure uh, social security, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So you will be liable. You probably get some type of tax information at the end of at the end of it. Right. That's a downfall for central centralized exchanges. Right. Putting your information out there. Cool coin. All right. So let me get into the two uh, that I wanted to talk about. The first one. Is crypto exchange, crypto.com exchange. I'm a big fan of crypto.com. I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with crypto.com. They've been killing it, spending a lot of money on marketing and branding. They just took over where the Clippers and, and the, the Lakers play at. Used once was called Staples Center and it's now called the crypto.com arena. Uh, they got partnerships with UFC. They got partnerships with PSG. They got partnerships. They're going to be having it. They got the FIFA World Cup this year. They got Formula One uh, partnerships. They're spending a lot of money to get their namesake out there. And they move about $111 uh, million dollars per day in value. Uh, they're a overseas based, I believe, Singapore, but their headquarters is out of like the UK. Um, so that's very important to know that as well, too. Uh, they have partnerships with Visa where you can actually get a hard copy card, a metal card program. Um, I want to talk more about that when I talk about the difference between cryptocurrency and, and traditional banking as well. But no, they have that as 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 well as crypto, crypto, uh, crypto dot com, Coinbase and Binance. Both have Visa type cards where you can put your fiat on there, kind of like a like a rush card or a debit card where you can deposit money on there and you can use it and each platform have different reward systems. Um, and there's better reward systems in traditional banking, in my opinion. Uh, Crypto.com, can all, they also sell NFTs. They do staking on there as well, too. Uh, yeah, overall, solid, solid, solid platform. I'm a big fan of them. I use them in my Discord. I talk about Crypto.com a lot, Coinbase a lot as well, too. Uh, I've never had any issues with it. They did do a major update, which the app is running a little slow. So I'm not a big fan of that. But overall, I never had a problem buying, selling or moving crypto on their platform. And the next one, and I don't even know if it's on the list, but we're going to see. Let's see if I can do a search. See if I can do a search. Let's see if I can do a search for them. Um, uh, I don't think so. Let's see, see if they are on here. If they're not, that's fine. I'll just pull up their website and we can kind of talk about it. So the, the, the surprise one that I kind of like, and I'm only using it for this particular reason only is uphold. Um, if you are familiar with uphold here, I'll bring it out right here. Uphold is one of the, uh, platforms that you can actually buy XRP directly. So I wanted to bring them into the to fold because anyone who's interested in North America to buy XRP uphold 
would be probably the easiest way to do so. As you saw, just popped on the, on the screen is zero, zero percent commission based. Um, you can also buy precious metals on here. As you can see right here, you can buy gold, silver, platinum. Um, you can buy stocks on here as well, too. But you can also buy crypto and they have a nice list of cryptocurrencies. It's not as big as the other ones, but they do offer some bangers as far as crypto. Like I said, I use it for XRP solely, right? Um, let's see. Yeah. Stocks, precious metal limit order. They also do staking. They got some of the best staking um, on any exchange, right? Again, they don't have a lot of... Um, a lot of tokens on their platform but if you're into any of these i mean you can get 12 12 percent apy on cosmo incredible polka dot 12 percent credible kava 25 percent. these are all promo don't know when they end i mean if you got matic nine percent ziliquan uh pff, i mean near i mean look at these seven percent on eve seven and a half on flow rose uh odyssey networks a lot I mean, come on, yo. You can't get no better than this, right? It's funny that they got algo on there and it's only like 1%. <laughs> but yeah, Uphold, another hot one on the list. If you're looking to buy XRP and you live in the United States or North America, you can go to create an Uphold. It's super easy. It's KYC, um, but you can actually buy it directly um, from, your, from the application, connecting your bank card. And yeah, you can buy it. I've been doing it for the last couple of weeks. Another one where you can buy XRP directly as well is KuCoin. KuCoin is still still lists XRP on their exchange. You can purchase it. Now, there's a little work around and maybe I'm doing it. I took the long way to do it. But before they started allowing you to connect your card, <laughs> I would have to you would have to buy Bitcoin on Cash App. Yes, Cash App, the fintech company. You know, that buy Bitcoin and Cash App, transfer that Bitcoin to KuCoin, sell your KuCoin to USDT or USDC or whatever, and then you will have to buy XRP. A lot of steps. It worked for me last year. It was perfectly fine until I got up on Uphold. So I no longer use KuCoin to buy XRP, but I use KuCoin to buy other, other cryptocurrencies like SDAO, uh, AGIX. Uh, I'm also use KuCoin Wallet for my mining rigs, such as my KDA, uh, ETH Cat, uh, Classic, uh, etc. So I use KuCoin, and plus I use it for their margin and um, margin future and spot trading as well too. So I still use KuCoin as one of my favorite apps to use, um, but I'm not using it to purchase XRP anymore. I'm strictly on Uphold. So XRP. KuCoin and Uphold. So, yeah. So real quick, I'm gonna kind of give y'all, give y'all a quick snaps, give a quick look of these sites. This is Binance.USA. Go ahead and pause the video, get that URL. I have links in my bio too if you want to sign up. My um, use my reference code. We both can get some crypto. But it's super simple, man. I already got an account, so I'm just gonna show y'all. You just click get started. Email password reference code or a referral code let them know that you're over 18 years old and then you just follow the steps it's going to ask you for all your information your birthday your social you're going to have to upload your driver's license front and back um, and continue on and then you're going to get some verification emails that, uh, sent to you with certain codes that you have to input it's super easy it should take you about three minutes tops ftx us go ahead and get that ftx.us uh, url right there and then you do the same thing, create an account, come over here. Like I already got my, I already have an account there. Create the account, agree, and then it's gonna take you through the same process, the same process as uh, as I was talking about. Let me let me open up my account real quick. Cause I don't trade on here. I buy some NFTs from Salona here and there. Uh, log in, you can kind of see it. All right, let's kind of check it out. So they do NFTs. FTX just started doing stocks. Uh, I don't know what OTC. Like I said, I don't really use it that much. It's just when I'm in here buying Salona stocks. I mean, Salona and uh, NFTs. They got an FTC card now with Visa. 
Visa has been there dipping their hand in a lot of cryptocurrency, man, which I love to see that. Love to see that. Got a good reward system as well, too. I don't have any rewards. Yeah. So that's FTC. Let's close that out. Coinbase. Sign up. Same way. Click sign up. Let them know if you're an individual or a business. Uh, institutional. Got their own type of account and whatnot. So you'll pick. Get started. First name, last name, email, password. Agree. Uh, I wonder if I just put in. All right. Um, all right. Boom. Boom. Create free account. See if it takes. You get up to two hundred dollars for setting up your account. That's pretty cool. I don't want to say that. Oh, so let me do it. Cool. Let us do its thing. Get up to two hundred dollars in Bitcoin after you set up your account. Incessantly make a purchase, spend the wheel and rewards, and earn up two hundred dollars in Bitcoin. It's pretty cool, right? Click continue. I'm gonna dismiss that. It's got an email verification sent over to you, right? I'm gonna go to that on my phone. Boom. Going through my phone right now. That's fine. You guys see my email. That's my little throwaway email where I let all the spam stuff go anyways. It's not a big deal. Uh, where is it at? Coinbase. Email didn't arrive. Let's do that again. They're going to resend it. Waiting for that email, guys. Oh, okay. I got it. Uh, verify my email address. I just clicked the link on my phone. Hold on. Here we go. It sent me two because I had it sent back over. Boom. Right. Then I'll get a, this is two step verification. So they're going to send me a text message. put my telephone number in so you get it i'm not gonna put my telephone number in <laughs> so after you do that you get a little code or whatnot and then boom you're on your way so that's coinbase cool coin same thing sign up right you get you guys get it you just sign up it'll take anywhere from three to five minutes make sure you have your driver's license or some type of id passport or whatever the case may be now we'll tell you this cool coin it's going to re require you two types of identification so it's not going to be your first time it's going to be a driver's license now if you're trying to take and do trading like margins or futures etc you're going to need another form of id to show who you are and that could be a passport driver's like uh id card uh, a, a bill with your address on it, etc. So just know that you need two pieces of identification for KuCoin. And then we already talked about this one. It's the same process. Uh, you do the sign up, email, password, choose your residency, your citizenship, hit accept. You can also do it as a business and continue. This one will probably take you like two minutes. It's super seamless and super easy to do, right? So yeah, recap, recap. Instead of giving you four, I gave you six exchanges to start your crypto investing journey. Exchange number one, Binance. If you're in the United States, you need to use Binance USA or US, excuse me. Number two, Coinbase. Coinbase exchange. It has three different other platforms. I would suggest you should start with regular Coinbase. Don't buy the subscription until you're familiar. Get familiar with the actual website functionality, the application and feel comfortable. FTX. FTX, again, if you're in the United States, you need to use FTX US, right? KuCoin, KuCoin. If you want to trade spot, spot trade, future trade, margin trade, uh, futures, uh, I said the futures trade or just regular buy cryptocurrency, KuCoin. If you want to buy XRP and you live in, in the United States, you can do so on KuCoin. Uh, Binance USA, already mentioned that with Binance for all my United States people. And then... Um, where is it at? And the other one is crypto.com right here. Crypto.com. Uh, you definitely need to do the KYC. Know your customer. You can sign up if you're in the United States. There's no U.S. version or anything like that.
And then the other one, other exchange is Uphold. If you're looking to buy precious metals, XRP, again, I use it personally to buy XRP, transfer it over to my application, uh, uh, to my ledger. So yeah, I told you I was going to give you four. I actually gave you six bangers. And again, you don't have to use those. I showed you Coinbase, Coin Market Cap for a reason to come over here and just know know how many users these exchanges are, and making sure they have enough liquidity because when it's time to cash out, you don't want any hiccups. If I go to some of these bottom ones, right? Look, three hundred thousand. Like, come on, man. Let's say if you ran the bag up and you made over three hundred thousand, it's gonna be hard to get your money out, right? So you just want to make sure your look the liquidity is there, right? Want to make sure the liquidity is there. And you can on here you can uh, sort it by liquidity average, right? It's very important, man. You want to make sure you get it in those exchanges that got good liquidity. If you don't use Coin Market Cap or alternative for this is Coin Gecko, and you can come here to exchanges, and you can look at crypto exchanges, and they have different ratings as well too, right? So they rate Coinbase as number one, FTX three. Uh, crypto exchange five binance seven right the the biggest thing is you want to make sure there's volume in there right you want to make sure there's money moving they got a trust score here of 10 for a lot of these so that's very important as well too if depending you know depending on how you feel about it right so that's coin gecko and coin uh coin market cap i like both of these i'm gonna do a video kind of explaining the difference between the two but i'll use both of them Anyways, man, that's my time. I appreciate y'all. If you felt like this information was A1, go ahead and hit the like button. Share with your partners and them, your, your, your mom, your dad, your baby mama, your wife, your girlfriend, your husband, your side dude, whomever, right? Share, share it. I truly appreciate it. It helps the algorithm. If you want to stay locked in with the information that I put out or that content, Go ahead and hit the bell now to be part of the notification. Gang, 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 gang. And again, check the links in my bio. I got the How to Crypto ebook that walks you through how to start your crypto journey, investment journey from A to Z, giving you all the all the fundamentals and the sauce to make sure that you're not overthinking this because when you try to get fancy, trying to get spicy. That's when you start getting clapped and wrecked in the crypto market. You want to keep the basics. You want to stick to the fundamentals. You know who Tim Duncan is? Shaq used to call him the big fundamentals because it's important, right? So anyway, I appreciate y'all time. Remember, this is not financial advice. I love y'all. Let's go.